Hey guys, I'm Jam Jamonline.ph and you are watching Jam Online TV. So this week, pag-uusapan natin ng ba bagong dalawang uh, products ni Xiaomi and isa dito ay uh, dumating na sa Pilipinas. And syempre, meron tayong isang surprising na flagship smartphone sa probably hindi nyo pa narinig na mobile brand. It's the Farfly Mobile. So, uh, proceed na tayo sa Jam Online TV and let's talk about the Xiaomi Mi 4i. It's their newest flagship smartphone. No and no, hindi siya mas malakas sa... Uh, Xiaomi Mi Note Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 4 but this one is a toned down Xiaomi Mi 4 and mas mura yung kanyang presyo pero syempre pinabababa ng konti yung hardware niya specifications and yung iba naman parang mas pinaganda like the battery so uh, let's talk about the Xiaomi Mi 4i well first of all uh, gawa siya sa plastic as you could see in the picture um, it's available in different colors and uh, yes it's made up of plastic but it's quite solid knowing um, the Xiaomi brand and uh, their quality talaga maganda naman ang gawa ng Xiaomi so let's talk about the specifications uh, meron siyang 64-bit 1.7 GHz Snapdragon 615 octa-core processor that's 64-bit ready na ready na para sa Android 5.0 there's a 5-inch Full HD sunlight display na sabi nila sobrang liwanag daw for um, the competition compared sa other competition at its price range so there's a 2 gigs of LPDDR3 of RAM uh, 16 gig of internal storage and unfortunately this storage is non-expandable uh, Meron siyang 13 megapixel rear camera with two-tone flash so, Siyempre yung two-tone flash para mas maganda yung mga shots nyo pag sa gabi Walang ilaw, hindi kayo magmumukhang ghost na sobrang puti nyo because of two-tone flash Mas magiging natural yung colors ng balat nyo There's a um, 5 megapixel front camera, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS um, dual SIM and dual LTE thankfully and meron siyang quick charge so basically mas madali mag charge dito sa Xiaomi Mi 4i uh, there's um, 3,120mAh of battery which is quite big for its size actually um, medyo matagal daw yung battery life nito according to Xiaomi and I'm really really, really interested to this one kasi the price is um, at around converted to pesos is uh, 9,078 pesos and unfortunately wala pa tayong release date dito sa Pilipinas but for 9,078 pesos the Xiaomi Mi 4i is quite interesting it's uh, actually a flagship smartphone with a uh, very affordable price below 10,000 pesos you get a 64-bit processor, um, an amazing design from Xiaomi. Although some people say that it's copycat, pero para sa akin ang ganda ng design ng Xiaomi. And very very solid yung mga smartphones nila. I'm not really sure lang dito sa 16GB of internal storage ko ilan yung matitira. And medyo disappointing kasi medyo malit lang yung 16GB of storage para sa akin. Um, by the way, there's MIUI 6 and this one is an Android Lollipop. So talagang mamamaximize yung 64-bit processor ni Xiaomi Mi 4i. I'm not sure sa performance ni Snapdragon 615, but I'm um, I'm pretty confident na maganda naman ito, lalo na sa MIUI. Sobrang okay naman yung performance sa MIUI para sa akin. When it comes to Android launchers, um, MIUI is one of the best. So let's proceed to the next one. So this one will be available in the Philippines. This is the Xiaomi Mi Pad. So this is the Xiaomi's uh, first, I'm not sure if, if this is their first tablet, but this is the first tablet that darating dito sa Pilipinas. And um, the design is quite similar to the iPhone 5C combination ng I iPad mini. So there's a 7.9 inch IPS display with Gorilla Glass 3. And ito yung interesting sa kanya. This one is powered by NVIDIA Tegra K1 quad core processor with uh, 192 Kepler, uh, 192 core Kepler GPU. So this is one of the most um, powerful processors uh, before last year. I'm not sure now because we have the Exynos 7420 of the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the Snapdragon 810 and Snapdragon 808 from the LG G4. So the Xiaomi Mi Pad is um, again it's powered by NVIDIA Tegra processor. There's a 2 gigs of LPDDR3 of RAM, 16 gig of internal storage, but this one is expandable up to 128 gig. There's an 8 megapixel DSi camera, rear uh, DSi rear camera, and a 5 megapixel front camera. Not bad for a tablet. And then, of course, there's siyang Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and uh, 6,700 milliamps of battery. So this one is powered by uh, MIUI and Android. Um, and uh, the Xiaomi Mi Pad is priced at 10,899. 
Ayan, it will be available sa Lazada on May 4. And unfortunately, baka maging flash sale din tong si Xiaomi Mi 5. So when it comes to tablets sa Android uh, market, si Xiaomi Mi 5 ang isa sa mga maayos aside from Asus and the Galaxy Tab S series. Uh, medyo okay actually si Xiaomi Mi, but although the experience is uh, quite similar to the Xiaomi smartphones because of MIUI. So, actually, medyo dikit yung experience niya sa mga iOS uh, tablets, like the iPad and iPad mini. And yes, medyo maganda to kasi it's Android. You could install your emulators or your homebrew apps or whatever that you want to install on this one because this one is much more uh, open compared kay iOS na, well, of course, mahirap maghanap ng emulators sa, play, sa iOS store. Actually, I don't take the merong play, uh, Game Boy emulators sa uh, iOS store, but uh, on the Play Store, marami available, even the PlayStation Portable emulator. So it's really interesting, the Xiaomi Mi Pad, if you want one, it will be available on May 4 for 10,999 pesos. So let's proceed to the last one this week. Not in topic natin this week, the Farfly Mobile Intense 64 LTE. Actually, dun palang sa name niya, malalama mo na kung ano yung hardware specifications niya and features. So the Farfly Mobile Intense 64 LTE packs a 5.5 inch HD IPS Plus OGS display with Dragon Trail Glass. The, ito yung interesting. This one is powered by MediaTek 6732. Uh, 64 bit 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor so this one is 64 bit uh, so meaning probably mas malakas siya sa mga octa core processors before ni MediaTek and yes mas marami tayong magagawa sa 64 bit mas mabilis mas maganda performance and uh, since si Android Lollipop ma maximize na ang uh, 64 bit processor and optimize niya na I mean um, mas maganda yung performance sa Android Lollipop and yes this one is uh, running on Android 5.0 Lollipop there's a 2 gigs of um, LPDDR3 RAM, not that bad. Most smartphones these days are uh, on LPDDR3 na, so medyo mas mabilis. Um, there's a 16 gig of flash memory with micro SD card slot. Um, there's a 13 megapixel BSI rear camera and an 8 megapixel um, BSI front camera. Not that bad since even si front camera meron ng BSI na sensor. Awesome. Alright, so there's a dual SIM and dual LTE on this one. And uh, Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, hot not GPS. Unfortunately, yung battery niya is only at around 2,800 mAh. And according sa nababasa ko sa internet, so some of uh, some consumers na bumili ng Firefly Mobile Intense uh, 64 LTE, medyo mahaba yung pangalan niya, may intense na, 64-bit <laughs> LTE pa. Anyway, so uh, according sa kanila, the 2800 mAh of battery is medyo kulang para sa kanila. Actually, para sa akin, medyo maliit nga 2800 mAh of battery for a 5.5 inch smartphone. But again, this one is just not, this brand is not as big as Samsung, Sony, or HTC. So this is Farfly Mobile and it's very interesting, bakit not only this one is powered by a 64-bit processor and a LTE na smartphone, but this one is priced at 7,999 pesos. So this is a flagship smartphone with an affordable price, and I'm really, really interested on this one. And sana uh, marami pa ilabas si Firefly Mobile na mga gandang smartphones and devices like this one. Although it might be good in the white paper, however, I'm not sure kung maganda nga siya sa real life test. Again, may mga nabasa ako sa internet and may mga nag-comment sa akin na medyo hindi daw maganda ba ito like na Firefly Mobile in 1064 LTE. But if we have a review unit, malalaman natin if maganda nga ba ay performance ni Farfly Mobile in 1064 LTE. So I guess that's it for this week's Jam Online TV. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, mag-subscribe na po kayo at bit.ly slash Jam Online TV. So once again, I'm Jam of Jam Online dot PH. And thanks for watching Jam Online TV. So see you guys again next week.